All right, you know every year I drop a new updated melodies tutorial showing you how to build chords and melodies and advance them. And the more I learn, the more I can show you guys, like I say every single year. So this is gonna be the first one dedicated to 2022. I think it's the first one, I hope so. I can't really remember, but I don't think this year I've done one. So this is definitely the first one of 2022. Anyways, let's get into it. We're gonna create a crazy melody today. I'm gonna show you guys step by step. So make sure to stay tuned for the whole video because I'm gonna show you a lot of different tips and tricks that I've learned and like to implement to get my chords and melodies to be as advanced as possible, real catchy, <laughs> whatever you wanna say, let's go. All right, so the first thing you're definitely gonna need is like a good quality piano. For this, I wanna use Contact, and I'm going to use this piano right here, which comes with the Contact Complete. It's at the very bottom right here. I brought down softness just a little bit, and then on the dynamic range, I actually went a little bit over to the left, and I didn't put a space on this because I routed it into the mixer, and I put an EQ which cuts out a little bit of like the low end, just like a low shelf, tiny bit of mid range and a little bit of the highs. I kind of want this to be a little bit like of a darker piano. And then I put a pretty big reverb on it. So as you can see, there's like a six second decay time. So it's a really big reverb, but I want it to be really washy. So that is what we're gonna do at first to start off and get ourselves a good sounding piano. So, so far that sounds like this. And yeah, if you didn't know, if you click, depending on certain parts of this, it's actually triggers velocity. So you can actually like, you know, play at different velocities. Anyways, we are in B minor. So to make this easy to follow, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start on the one chord. So all that means is I'm gonna start on the one of the scale, which is the B. And let's see, this is like the starting velocity here. I wanna bring this down so it's a little bit softer. I wanna go for like a darker feel for this. And then what we're gonna do is skip every other note like this. So now we have a simple triad. But what you really wanna do to get these chords to sound better is to build bigger chords, seventh, ninth, 11th chords, and then invert different things. So before we jump too far ahead, we're at a triad, right? We have the one, three, and the five. Then we'll skip the six and hit the seven, right? And hit the nine. Now we have a ninth chord. So now since we have a bigger chord to work with, what we wanna focus on next is some inversions and then we'll get into the velocity. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the root note of this, the B, the fifth. So yeah, let's drop this down and bring it up one octave. So now what we have is the same chord, but we have inversions going on. Now let's go ahead and hear what this sounds like. And let's take all of these and randomize and bring them down a little bit more. And let's see what this sounds like now. So you can mess with these. Maybe let's invert something else. Let's invert the C sharp. I like that better. It sounds kind of dark. These two being together is kind of like a cluster of notes. Then it can create some tension that maybe you like or you don't like. Sometimes what I like to do is actually bring the velocity down when they're close together and it kind of helps out. So now let's go ahead and build on to the next chord. So we can either go up or down the scale. Let's see. Let's make it a little bit of a darker melody. Let's go for F sharp, skip every other note. There's our triad, let's hit a seventh. And then let's actually invert all these up like this. And then maybe invert this one here. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is actually take these velocities and copy them real quick. So I'll probably speed the video up for this. Let's actually just randomize this a little bit more. And I'm gonna go over here and kind of move these in just a little bit just a couple of these notes. So now let's go ahead and hear what we have. And we'll do like a pretty simple chord progression. Let's just go back up right here and then skip every other note. There's our seventh, let's build a ninth. Since the root notes are down low, we'll bring this up an octave like that, invert here. And I'm gonna copy these notes again just to get like a similar velocity going. And then for this section, I'm gonna keep it similar, but what I'm gonna do is copy this over and I'm gonna get rid of, let's see, the C sharp and then probably invert this so that it could go back down like this. So now from here, what I'm gonna do is move some of these notes in. So let's go, let's move this one in. Let's go over like this. And this is where we're gonna make it sound like more advanced. So let's bring this in. And let's go something like this, create like another chord probably here. And then here I'm gonna do like a little scale run. Maybe like this. Yeah. 
Yeah, something like that. That sounds good. Let me bring this in here. Sounds too robotic. Uh, that sounds better. Bring this in. And have this hit again right here. Yeah, right there. And maybe we could build like a chord off of this. That sounds pretty good. Let me play it again from the beginning. Yep, right there. And then we can go up. So right here, what I'm gonna do is start to build up higher on the scale. So let's see what we have going on. We have uh, A, so let's go something like this. So we can go from D maybe down to A. I'm just paying attention to my chord and then an F sharp. That sounds really good like that. Now I'm just kind of trying to go off ear. Mm, let me see. I like to play the melody a lot and just kind of listen to what I hear next. Do, 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 do. Something like that. I don't know where I'm just placing it. Let's see. Let's bring this down. Maybe I need to go in here and make this like a little more realistic. Let's see. Let's bring this down. This part right here just needs to get moved around a little bit. Let's see. Let's take this B, bring it in here. It's just something simple like that. Velocity is important. cut this here yeah I like that part a lot this is kind of crazy and maybe we'll move this in let's see let's bring this down A little bit more. Yeah, this sounds, this sounds dope. So I'm really liking how this sounds. I think it sounds really good, but let's go ahead and just transpose it. Let's go up maybe one, one semitone. Let's see what this sounds like. This would be C minor. Let's go down, let's see, A sharp minor. Oh, one more. Back to the original. I'm not sure, I mean, like I said, you know how this goes, we could sit here all day long and like mess with this and see which pitch we like. I'm gonna definitely have to make a full beat out of this, but for this tutorial, I just wanted to make this tutorial to show you how to make these types of chord progressions and melodies. So in the next video, expect me to be making a full beat with this and we'll do a cook up for that. If you're new to the channel, I drop tutorials and cook ups every single week. So make sure to check back, turn on those push notifications and yeah, we'll just keep going crazy all year.